right harvard reference method when we do referencing uh, especially in your assignment writing you have to focus uh, harvard referencing method why this is one of the standard method accepted uh, in the assignments especially uk assignments okay so if you are doing othm course all uh, even uh, the universities courses here in uk harvard referencing method they are expecting so what do you, what do you mean by that so why you need to go for referencing okay then we will discuss how to make this referencing uh, the importance of referencing these are the things that we are going to discuss now okay so when you write answers when you write answers in your assignments right you you have some idea you have taken this idea from other source you can take anything from anywhere right uh, by google you can search it and then find the information by youtube you can connect the ideas by reading newspaper there are some articles if you go and read the research papers you can get some information so the information can be collected everywhere maybe the books you read may you can get the books downloaded from uh, pdf drive so last time i told you how to uh, download pdf drives right and the books so you can get the books and the reference is important where you found the answers where you got the answers the answers uh you can get the idea but you you can't copy directly what is the answers there you can't copy and paste it if you copy and paste it you are taking someone's property someone's writing someone's idea someone words directly you are putting as it is your own one so if you put that way and it will make you a copy issue this is what you call plagiarism what do you mean plagiarism plagiarism is the act of taking another person's words ideas and presenting as it is your own one so if you copy paste and the reader will not understand whether it is others one or your one they will take as it is your own one because you didn't uh, mention that you have taken from others because you are presenting as it is your own one in the assignment corrections and the universities they are, they are checking uh, certain uh, softwares they are using right to check this plagiarism so there are some certain softwares they will go and put this uh, copy this uh, articles or the essays or your assignment and put that in that assignment uh, plagiarism checking uh, softwares and then finally there will be a list of what do you call result in that result they will highlight where you have taken these and then how much you have taken uh, from the source as a copy there will be a report so example i will show my uh, assignment uh, how i did in my mba and what was the result it was uh, shown so it's an example for you then you have to make sure that when you are doing uh, not to happen like that okay give me a second Uh, let's say take mba assignment uh, strategic management yeah one like this is my assignment okay this is my entrepreneurship evaluation is one as assignment i did in my mba okay i have given answers here i have written all the answers and also the references i have given where i taken see nation.lk this is the our uh, newspaper 
business today is a newspaper bcas.lk is a news body called link the official site thinkworth is our newspaper life top is a youtube you know i have taken all the uh, resources in the references from different link okay and these ideas i have based on these ideas i have written the answers here i have discussed about for example the question is what uh, entrepreneur introductions okay selection of entrepreneur strategy of uh, business of bcas compass for example i have taken so in my assignment writing selection of entrepreneur this guy okay if i want to write about this guy where can i get this idea so i have went and uh, on uh, you know got this ideas from this this youtube discuss this ideas captured from the live talk yeah i put this one and from uh, the link i have put here live talk option do you understand so now i have given the source of uh, source of my article how i have written i can't tell lie here i have to tell everything because somebody's life story i can't put in my own way so i have to go and see the source and then i have to highlight some points based on their reserve they call uh, the presentation they have made it so i have to take like that okay this is the way you have to go for so when i upload it when i upload it in the system this is the result the plagiarism can you see this Yeah, this is the report. Plagiarism report. Do you want to see? Entrepreneurship evaluation. This is the. This is the article, the front page, and here the plagiarism. Can you see this? How many pages? How many characters? And all, and then there will be a report. So I will put uh, here another one. Can you see this? Similarities, right? A student's paper. Now the answers I discussed. Everything highlighted. How many percentage of similarities? So the similarities mean copy. Two percent copied. It's fine. Forty percent. They allow forty percent. Sixty percent. You can't. You know, hundred percent copy is problem. below 40% is fine right the copy issue so when you are making when you are that's why you have to go for uh, make your right see this you see the way it captured can you see the whole colors so when you go and see this one there are some areas highlighted and captured so nothing captured here why because because i made it in my own writing if you go and see this one is highly captured so if if it is something captured it means you yeah links and all but generally i i i wrote in my own way that's your own style of writing then there will be there will not be a copy issue do you understand now so what you have to do you take a paragraph uh, from the article uh, you feel, feel that is the area you want to write in your essay you take that paragraph and copy for example so i will take one link from here okay i'll it is uh, you can understand easily see this article we are one <laughs> so because no 
my court a century so association of the roman chairman vikas so he has given some ideas the articles are written here can you see this so now there are some wording yeah let's say this is what he says um let's say you are taking some mr rahman known for me is a strict discipline and above all out uh, pessimist he was uh, skeptical yeah and uh, honestly speaking it reserves uh, quite justifiable and put me in microscope in your every until and then he put some ideas here do you understand interested me a lot of here now this idea until here until here this is about person statement about another person so what can i do now i can take this idea and then i can copy it here so mr rahman is talking talking about this idea right uh, according to this guy so now you write in your own way you make the sentences in your way right yeah the founder of bikas yeah is a uh bell discipline okay bell discipline uh and pessimistic guy who has been contributing uh, nations yeah nations economy by developing children education especially on it and business example huh? i have written this idea do you see this now i have taken this information and i am writing in my own way how do i know this how can i know that he is a pessimist guy and disciplined guy uh, i have to give this link do you understand so, so this is based on this link i am writing do you understand now i didn't copy and paste it from the article i have highlighted the key idea this is one way another way you can write according to this guy according to the one he speaks the article written by this guy right according to article about this guy whose name is that who is speaking about this guy this message uh following extracts uh, taken hotel they will uh, remember who is speaking okay let's say a person this guy is speaking right uh, what is his name according to this guy he emphasized that abdul rahman is a pessimistic and well disciplined guy now you are bringing this clearly idea taken from other source and mentioning clearly so if you write that way you are not going to get plagiarism issue do you understand so plagiarism it means you are copying the text and directly and pasting don't do that so you just get this idea see strict disciplinary one idea and also pessimistic two ideas 
Now, these two ideas now I highlighted well disciplined and pessimistic guy. I put in my own way and written this line where I got this idea based on this link. So, this link has to be given in my reference list and the idea I have to write, uh, I have to uh, summarize in put in my own way, paraphrased. So, I paraphrase the idea in my own way. This is how you are going to write your assignments and the answers. If you want to directly quote, there are certain way to quote, we will discuss one by one. Okay. So, have you understood the way you are, you find the answer and write it. So, you go and like that. So, let's understand what is plagiarism. Now, you understood. Okay. So, reference helps you to avoid plagiarism. So, you have the text here. The referencing is a standardized set of rules. So, now you are going to learn the rules. Okay. Can you see this in the bracket? The Kana 2011. So, this is the uh, bracket given. These are the author. He has written this article in this year. So, you are going to bring this idea here. This idea is quoted by him is in the bracket. So, this is what index, this is called index citation. Citation that two different citations. Index citation, you have to put in the bracket the author's name and the year. We will go one by one. Okay, can you see this? Can you this, uh, this one? Here yeah, I have put this, this, this is the statement. Huh? This is the statement I have put in the bracket. And this bracket official link is here. Corner 2011 and uh, the official link is here. Do you understand? So what you have to do? You have to put the name of the, we will go one by one, how to quote this one. Huh? So, you have to understand whatever you are writing in the paragraph, you have to give them in the index citation. For this index citation, you have to bring your reference link according to Harvard method. Two things are there. You have to write an article, index citations, you have to put that in the bracket. And then you have to bring that uh, article uh, highlight the link there. Okay. So, if you take a uh, an, an research article, can you look at this? SHRM has emerged as a prominent designation of people management over the past three decades. Now, you are writing like this, no? You are writing in your own way, right? But actually, you can't write this way. This idea quoted by somebody. What he said? SHRM emerged as a prominent designation of the people management over the past three decades. This statement given by this guy. So this is what he called index citation. So how are you going to write? You have to put the person's name, comma, when he wrote this article, 2008. And not only this guy, and this guy also written like this, this guy also written like this. So there are three people quoted the same idea in their assignment, sorry, in their research articles. So now I have to give, this is what in the bracket is there, in text citation. So now the same thing I can go and see in the last, Box, no? Box L. Can you see this? Reference. B. Can you see this? This guy. Box L, this guy, Strategic Human Resource Man, third edition. So, this is the link. How it is written? The book, this is actually a book. Boxel P and this guy, 2000. It was 2008, no? So, this one, 2008. Strategic Human Resource Management, comma, 
what is the book second edition and you have to write this name you are giving the link here so when i click uh, control and this hand if i click the link will open the box the book book will be there and if i download the pdf will come and then i can read it so you are highlighting where you got this idea the word uh, you read can you see this you got the idea now so where you got this idea the link is here according to harvard method is quoted and the sentence you have written in your own way but you have put in you have already put that in the bracket as an in text citation like this one SHR has emerged as a prominent designation of the people management over the past three decades. This is mentioned by these three people. What it means, you can't write anything in your own way because these are theory. So the theories that you are going to discuss, you discuss but put in the bracket who told you about this. that is what index citation and for that you have to give the link in your reference list according to harvard math have you understood now what is the so from this point you can understand whatever you are writing everything should be given as evidence based this is the way of writing articles this is the high level of article uh, generally for research if you are doing research article you have to give everything to see all the quotations all the mentions bracket who told them about this see different people discuss about this you have to tell about the points discussed should be there the key key things you can discuss like not all the key things so another concept you are discussing here however limited researchers has focused on understanding on international companies within the specific industries and had adopted this one hr practices to deliver competitive success and this idea also quoted by this guy so you have to tell who made this uh, comment from where here this one while shr and literature recognize the importance of exogenous and endo endogenous factors in shaping firms people management practice and approaches international human resource management literature highlights that cultural and institutional info environment factors which influence and facilitate and constrain hr and across borders who told this one these people okay but the way he wrote in the book you didn't write you interpreted his idea and wrote in your own way of style but you put in the bracket where you got this idea and also you highlight here this idea edward can you see this e alphabetical order you have to give that one here this guy multinational company and different employment practices so you are control and then when i click this one the link will open you see this article is here now the article is down by reading this article he might have understood what is this, this article written to search paper he read it and then he is given the link so if you are going to write article or essay or answers you can write anything but you have to give where you got this information you should put in the bracket who gave this information and the relevant link this information that we put in the bracket in text citation so we will go and learn how to give in text citation i will teach you and second thing you have to bring them 
the link, the original link in the reference list as a Harvard method of referencing. Then we will discuss what is Harvard method of referencing and in-text citation. You understood now? It's clear? So now we have to go for the presentation again. Is it too much? <laughs> so if we, now you see easy because I just taken the real one, one paper and then see, now you can understand. This guy coded here, the text is in the front. Do you see? This is the statement and bracketed here. And this idea is given in the Harvard reference. Correct? It's done. The same way you have to go. Can you look at this? Michael Jordan say, what is that inverted comma? If anything is inverted, inverted comma, it means uh, it is the direct statement of the particular person. It says, I failed over and over and over again in my life. And that is why I succeed. Jordan, 2012, page number 43. So if you go and read this link, no link is here. Only the persons who wrote this article or the book, when he published that one, 2012, and the page number 43, he wrote this one. The sentence taken directly with the inverted comma. Now, in your own words, you paraphrase. And then you can put also this way, the same way. There are two ways you can write. This one, inverted comma, if you want to put, you can put the direct word you can put. But instead of putting this one, you put in your own way what you have understood. This is what the assignment expected. So you have to write, see, the same idea is there. Learning from failure can put you on the path to success. The same idea. Why I succeeded? I learned from, learned from failures. So learning failure can give you a success. So this idea is paraphrased. So I put it here in the statement. But is this the statement of this guy? No. The statement is up. But you have paraphrased and then put it. This is your writing. So when you write this one, there is no copy issue. And your idea taken from this guy. Here, this is the idea. From the book you have taken. Don't, don't then just copy and put it. You make and paraphrase and put this in this way. This is what in-text citation. Where you got these uh, phrases, I put the link. And that's why I, in the article I highlighted. Do you understand? So he read that article from the book and from his understanding he has written in the bracket, this is what he discussed. So summarized points are there. You understood why I highlighted, do you understand now? Yes. And then you go for the same thing. So this is the direct quote and this is the paraphrased one. So you have to bring the paraphrased one and bring that idea bracket. So here, if you write this way, cannot understand. So that's why you have to go for index citation. Without index citation, if you write how the person can understand who told this one. So that's why you have to go. And even though you paraphrased in the bracket, you have to give the source. That is what index citation. Is that clear now? So you can write this way also. This is the second way. Jordan 2012 says that learning from failure can put you on the path to success. You can write this way also. Another way you can write, Michael Jordan says that learning from failure can put you on the path to success. Jordan says, there are two ways. Huh? This one, Jordan bracket here says that. Another way of writing, Michael Jordan says that you just uh, inverted comma, you in direct to indirect. You make in your own way and then put the total. Jordan 2002, 12, page 43. These are the two way of writing. 
but the real statement this is the statement so you are writing by paraphrasing this way you can write this way also says that also or you can write this way also so three ways you understood this is what he called in text citation i think you have understood so book references these are the authors you have to go go for the referencing harvard methods now you go for harvard style <clears throat> if you are going to talk about the author first you have to put this uh, authors uh, in the index citation can you see that index citation the person's author's name and the book was published 2007 comma that's it in the bibliography if you are going to put in that uh, uh, harvard referencing you have to put the person name in the bracket year and the name of the book can you see the name of the book it's there no name of the book what is that complete guidance reference and avoiding plagiarism and then you have to put what university details and full stop this is how you have to write your harvard methods for the book do you understand and if you are going to write for article journal article essays how are you going to write so you are going to put in text citations the persons who wrote article on what year and then bibliography you are going to write the referencing uh, the guy's name right the year and the article name can you see the article name then yeah on the page where you found this so you have to go and write like that can you see this now because article this one uh, for the newspaper this for the newspaper you have to write put the newspaper link right uh, where do bcast.lk and their year of published and you have to write the name of the uh, website british uh, british college of applied studies official website then in the bracket you have to put online you have taken available at and the link you have to give an access date do you understand what about the second one second article i have taken here thinkworth wordpress.com so this is the uh, website name and they published in 2013 okay and i write like this things worth official website just right and bracket online available at then the official website link then you have to put in the bracket accessed the date you, the day you see the article and read the article you have to put that accessed 30 january 2020 Do you understand now? Yeah. When I read that article, I have put to put that one. When you read that article, I have to put that one. This is also important. And see this one. These are two uh, newspaper or official website uh, website link. How to put that one? And go for the YouTube now. This is YouTube. Live talk. Okay. And this guy, which was published by Omset Sri Lanka. So you have to put 2007 YouTube video added by and the name Omset Sri Lanka online available at and the YouTube link and then you can put accessed on when you watch this YouTube. Do you understand how to give the YouTube link? So in your art in your essay, if you want to get some information from YouTube, how are you going to give the Harvard referencing? Yeah, how? you have to put the live talk the heading the organization i will i will go for this one now uh, now the point is here now see this is the heading this is what i have put here 
Do you see the assignment? Can you see this one? Where is he? Third one. Third one. See the heading. I just put the heading 2017. And then YouTube video added by. And then I have to go for Omsa Sri Lanka. And then I have to copy this link. We got it. So now the video added by. And then I copied this link. This is the link. Available at huh? Omsa Sri Lanka bracket online. Available at. Then you have to put the link name. And in the bracket you have to put access the day. Now today I access today's date. You have to put. So now you are clearly mentioning that you researched and found the answers. And that you are writing in your own way. It's clear. This is the way you have to quote. And if you are going to go for the book, you have to go this way. Right? There are two ways. Directly, if you are buying a book and reading and then giving answers, this way. Robinson, Stephen. And uh, you have to put the uh, name of the year, year, year of the published. You have to put the year. And also, organized behavior, the heading. And the university name. So you have to put that one. Or if you download a book from PDF Drive, you have to get give the name and the person, uh, then the edition available at where you got this book. In PDF Drive, you download it and read it. You got it? So now you have the idea about how to reference it. So how are you going to reference? Two things. One is in-text citation. Other one is Harvard method of referencing your bibliography. So if you are going to give the bibliography, you can alphabetical order, we can arrange. Once you have finished, arrange everything alphabetical order. Okay.